Hello, welcome to today's vlog. I just got home from Trader Joe's and I'm going to do a mini Trader Joe's haul. I have not been to Trader Joe's in a while. I don't know why, but I thought I would show you guys what I got since it's been a minute. I also did a Sephora run the other day and I just posted a haul on my Instagram of like new stuff I just got from Miss Sephora. So first things first, I got a new toothpaste from Trader Joe's. I was looking at their stuff. And right now, I use the Tom's toothpaste, but I wanted to try this one. This is the peppermint toothpaste, and it's anti-cavity, it has baking soda and a fluoride. And it's just, I took it out the packaging. I put it in the bathroom. But um, hopefully it's good. I'm hoping that it's nice and spicy because I like a little spice to my toothpaste. And I also saw these. Um, I'm planning on keeping these in my car. They smell really good. They're the Trader Joe's Cucumber and Citrus Face and Body Wipes. I like to have stuff like this in my car if I spill something or if I'm eating or if I just need to like wipe something off or whatever. And the fact that these are for the face and the body, I'm kind of into it because I also typically carry makeup wipes in my car. I don't know how well these would work with like makeup per se, but I just really like them because they smell good. And I like having stuff like in my car, like I said. Let's see this back. I've never tried the overnight oats from Trader Joe's, so I got the strawberry ones and, sorry, I got strawberry and I got vanilla. So I'm excited to try these. I love an overnight oat situation. So I'm really, maybe I'll eat one right now. I'll try the strawberry one. Because one thing about me, I love anything strawberry. And these are soaked in almond milk. They have, yeah, almond beverage is what it says. Spinach dip because, because. I also got cacao powder for my morning smoothies. Speaking of morning smoothies, uh, let me put you on. So I've been struggling finding a good whey protein that doesn't have all kinds of random ingredients and junk in it. And I was like looking, 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 and I'm looking, or I was looking for a vanilla whey protein specifically. There are a lot of unflavored whey proteins out there that have like decent ingredients, but I wanted something that had vanilla. Like I need a little something. So I found this one on Amazon. It's from the brand Levels, and it's a grass-fed whey protein, and it's 24 grams of protein per scoop. And it has no artificial ingredients, no added sugar, no fillers and the ingredients are literally just whey protein concentrate vanilla extract sunflower something rather sea salt stevia and monk fruit this is like one of the best ones i've been able to find and the flavor i've already I'm like halfway through the bag it tastes really good it is sweet or i should say it tastes pretty sweet so just be mindful because i typically add like strawberries blueberries whatever and one day i added dates and it was just like a little too sweet with the dates so just keep that in mind this already gives like a sweet a sweet little tinge but yeah just like a side note because i just remembered right now that i got this cacao powder uh so for the days where i want a little a little chocolate flavor i'm gonna add this in there what else is in here oh i've never tried these these are sparkling coconut water with yuzu drinks these right here i i'm kind of into like coconut water lately so well gotta try these usually these little drinks from trader joe's are pretty good so yeah and again it has like minimal minimal ingredients in there and i got also fresh salmon just for the week Today, right now that I'm filming this, it's already Thursday, but I'm gonna save all this stuff for early next week. And then I also got these reusable lavender dryer balls. I just got dryer balls because I'm kind of getting out of using dryer sheets. And so um, I got dryer balls and then I have essential oil so I can put some on the dryer balls. But I also wanted to see what these are talking about. These are supposed to freshen up your laundry for up to 40 loads. I don't know how accurate this is oh it comes with four i thought it was just one 
Oh, these smell good. So you toss one in the dryer to add fragrance to your clothes and each bag can be used for five to 10 dryer cycles. That makes sense. And it says that after, basically like once you're almost done with using it, you can sprinkle the dried lavender, like basically open up the bags, sprinkle the dried lavender onto carpet and vacuum and it'll give your space a fresh scent. So yeah, I'm adding these to my laundry routine. Caesar salad kit, self-explanatory. I also got some hickory smoked turkey breast. This one looks really good. Pesto chicken and the pollo asado for tacos and then just to have throughout the week next week too. I missed Trader Joe's so much. It's just the one that I like to go to now is like further out. So I just haven't really taken the time because it's just a lot to get to. Anyway, I also found these reusable storage bags because I right now use Ziploc bags for my bananas because I, whenever I have bananas that are about to go too ripe, I like to throw them in the freezer for my smoothies and I have to use a bag. Well, I don't use a new bag every time. I use a bag for like a few times, but I thought these would be even better. So these, I can pop them in the microwave if I need to, the freezer, and the dishwasher. So if I need to clean them up, they get a little dirty, I can just pop them in the dishwasher, clean them. Oh yeah. I've purchased some like this before, but they just didn't do the job. So I'm hoping that these ones will. Comes with this size, which looks like the quart size or a sandwich bag size. This one, I think this is a sandwich. This might be a quart. And it comes with a teeny tiny one. And these are thick. They feel like a very thick material. And then the last thing I got are these drinks. So these were recommended by my girlfriend, Shanetta. She was like, girl, try these. So I was like, period. I'm going to get them next time I go to, I was about to say Sephora, to Trader Joe's. These are the rhubarb and strawberry sodas. That's everything I got from Trader Joe's this time around. I'm going to put this stuff away. I got a new office chair. I got a new rug and a new desk that came in. So I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna show you right now or later on when it's all set up because I'm not setting up the desk because I am in my I'm just a girl era and I'm not doing the builds and the, mm, 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 mm. the chair is put together already, but the desk, no. And then I might need help lifting my bed. So I might wait and show you guys, like I said, once it's all set up. Since I'm here, I will show you the chair and I also got wallpaper i have a vision i when i was sitting on my chair and i was looking at myself through this mirror i was like wait a minute it would be nice to either paint these doors or do some wallpaper and i think i want to try the wallpaper first and the reason why is because well you can't see here but there's like a big smudge on this door and then right here and i could ask them for the paint color so i can paint it Cause at this point I'm already like a month or two moved in. They can't really fix it. I don't think, but yeah, I saw that smudge and that's gonna be kind of like annoying to have to edit out when I take photos in this mirror, having to edit out every time. Or if I do videos in this mirror, it just looks kind of like, you can't tell. It's really not a big smudge, but you can kind of see it anyway. Uh, yeah, but when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, it might be nice to actually paint these or switch up the color by using wallpaper. So I bought some wallpaper from Amazon and I'm hoping that it'll do the trick. Um, I'll probably show you guys how I do that, but I think it might be a vibe. It might add like a little pop, which would be cool because when I'm in this mirror, I don't know if I wanna keep this mirror right here or if I want to corner it. By the way, this stuff I'm filming a haul for. I don't know if I'll film a haul on here or if I'm just gonna do it for Instagram slash TikTok, but anyways, yeah. I don't know if I wanna corner the mirror or if I wanna leave it right here. But regardless, these doors back here, I wanna switch out. And then I, I don't know if, this is basically my whole entire office space now. However, I don't want it to be too office-like. I want it to be more like a content area. 
So this closet here is now pretty much empty for the most part. I have my filming equipment and other little things, but this is basically empty. And this is going to store all of my filming things and other miscellaneous stuff. And then my desk, I don't know yet if I wanna have it going this way, facing the kitchen. And the, uh, y'all, it's a freaking mess. <laughs> but I don't know if I wanna have it facing back here or if I wanna have it facing the mirror and facing this window. But for the desk, I got, first of all, I got a standing desk. And second of all, I got wheels to put underneath it so I can move the desk wherever I want. I can have it there, I can switch it the next day and have it going this way. I can actually put it over here right by the window if I wanna get it out of the way. If I'm hosting something, I can wheel it into my bedroom and hide it in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the situation here. And these paintings, I don't think I'm gonna keep. I just have them there for now. And obviously, I need to decorate this space. But yeah, that's what that's looking like. My rug is over there in the corner. That's for the bedroom. And then the desk, I gotta get it. It's sitting outside of my door right now. But yeah, anyway, all that to say, this is my chair. This is from Amazon. I was kind of looking at it. Now that it's in here, I was like, she should have maybe gotten like a brown or something or a, a leather type of chair. And the thing about it is I don't want to get something that is not an office chair. I want something that's specifically meant for sitting on for hours. Because don't get me wrong, there are a lot of cute side chairs and cute sofa style chairs that I can use but honestly when I'm editing I want to be comfortable and I want to make sure my back is against something that's meant to be sitting on it for hours like curved like this you know what I mean uh, especially because with these neck problems look we need something that's ergonomic and that's exactly what I went for I don't know if I'll keep the stark white chair but for now this is gonna have to do and then the desk is also a white desk. So yeah, that's the chair. I'm just doing a quick makeup situation because I'm about to go do my nails. And I wanna look somewhat presentable. Normally on nail days, I don't wear any makeup. Actually, why am I putting makeup on? If I'm gonna do my lashes. Never mind. I'll just do my, my brows at least to have a little something. Something to make me feel put together. It's really gloomy today, which is odd. The past few days it's been nice and sunny and bright and pretty. And then today it's like gloomy and supposedly tomorrow it's supposed to rain. And when I get back home, I wanna, you can't even see, but I have the rug laid out over there and I want to lay it out so it can flatten and then put it in my bedroom. I haven't even seen how it looks, but uh, just based on the reviews and stuff, the rug was super inexpensive for the size and it looks really pretty and cozy, so I'm hoping that it works. Actually, I could do a little makeup. I just won't put anything near my eyes where they're gonna do the extensions. I'm still really into this Dior concealer as a uh, foundation. I've been using this concealer. This is my second bottle that I've gone through. And I just really like how it gives a super skin-like finish and the color for me matches to the T. I use the shade 3N and once this sets it looks like my skin i can't tell you how many times i've gotten complimented like oh my gosh your skin is so nice and i'm wearing this and people think it's like my skin and i'll be like no i have a little bit of makeup on there like but still it looks really like glowy and natural and i'm like thank you so i just apply this basically where i would put concealer foundation not concealer and then to make it look realistic i don't apply any on my nose or too much around my eyes because that's like a dead giveaway if i just apply it to spot conceal and i'll even do a little bit because i get i have like veins underneath here i want to get them lasered because ever since i was little like kids would be like is your nose bleeding 
because right here I have these two really dominant veins and I'd be like no they're just veins and I've been looking into the getting those lasered and then potentially getting my birthmark right here taken off too I just get scared because it's like right around my eye and then that means all these eyelashes would come off and then would they grow back but I just I go back and forth part of me it's like no just leave it because you've had it forever but then another part of me is like just take it off I don't know maybe I'll go see a dermatologist and see what they think but I don't want to lose my lashes on the <laughs> I don't want to lose my lashes on the bottom see once it blends it looks like my skin and you can still see a lot of my pigmentation little scars and my little moles but it just makes it a lot more even. I could do this with the skin tint, but the skin tints that I have are a little more full coverage and I'm not really trying to do all that. I just want it to look like I have really pretty skin naturally. I'm debating on if I wanna keep the long tapered square nails like this, or if I wanna go almond. I do wanna do French, that's what I have in mind. Tapered square is fire though. Maybe I'll go a little shorter. And I'm talking really low because it's too early. Like, why am I going to be screaming right now? I just got this brush too. And I posted it in my Sephora haul that I posted on Instagram. And I used it yesterday as well for cream contour and it works really well. I do think I need to wash the brush to make it like puffier. You know when you first get a brush and it's like really condensed and not like it's true potential. It's true potential. And then after you wash it, it just kind of fluffs up. That's what I need to do with this one. Now it looks like I'm wearing makeup because I added the bronzer, but it's fine. And then this I just got. This is a lip, eye, and cheek pencil from Tower 28. And it is the one liner in Draw Me. And I'm gonna use this on my cheeks to add some freckles. But the only thing is, I feel like you have to sharpen this to get the most pigment, which is like not ideal to have to sharpen it every time. But it's like that. You can't even tell. Can you? And then with no product on the brush, I'm gonna take that same one and just kind of tap over it so it looks more blended in like skin. Should we do blush? Me saying I wasn't gonna do a lot and still doing a lot. This blush, oh my gosh. I just did a TikTok on this blush and I also showed this in the haul, it's so pretty. It's the Hourglass, not Hourglass, House Labs plush in Fire Moon. And it's so stinking pretty. It's almost like a bronzy cinnamon. Blush. I need to do something with this hair. I need to do something with this hair. That's enough. Enough, 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 enough. All right. Last step is just the brows. Who's calling me this early? Who is calling me this early? Hi, Miss Hoops. Um, I don't know, I'm just like, why? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But I don't think <laughs> <laughs> that's because <laughs> that, mm -mm. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's too early for this. It's too early for this. Girl. Okay. <clears throat> Made it back home. And we're gonna do a quick haul. Like it wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't haul something, you know? And then after we'll do the rec situation. I finally caved on the Apple AirPod Maxes. Why are headphones that expensive? Don't know, but it was about that time to make the investment because I can use these for editing. I got the silver, of course. They did have like really pretty colors. They had like the green and the blue, but I was like, no, I already know myself. Just stick to the basics, so. Gosh, I got that. And then I went to Mac because I haven't been there in a while and I've misplaced my Mac strip down the pen, so I don't know what I do with it. So I went to go get a new one of those. Nothing game changing there. And then I also got the Mac lipstick in Mars to Your Venus. I thought this was so pretty. Not that I need another lipstick, but the Sephora. I have a Sephora lacquer lipstick that I like, but I just realized they discontinued it. I saw yesterday when I was looking for it and I was like, great. So now when I wear it, I can't tell you guys what I'm wearing because it's discontinued. So this one kind of seems similar. It's just like this honey, this really nice honey, shiny. You can barely even see it, but it's right there. And it looks similar to that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out. And I also got this MAC brush for blush. It's their 129S brush. And it looks just like these. And I wanna wash it just again to get rid of the flatness and make it a little more fluffy. Hi. Okay, where was I? And I cannot wait to take this makeup off because I feel... That's the only thing about no makeup makeup is after a few hours it starts to look crazy. Anyway, I went to Urban Outfitters and then I went to this little store called Elwood, but then they also had two other clothing stores there. I found this on Instagram and I didn't get anything from Elwood, but I did get stuff from the place next door. So I'll start with that. Uh, they had a lot of like vintage things like t-shirts and sweaters they had vintage levi's there uh doesn't have a name but yeah it's right next to elwood clothing in la but i'm gonna put this down got this sweatshirt and i like it because it has this little patch and then the stitching on the bottom and then it has stitching at the top too right here and i tried this on and it was really cozy and loose feeling and this i want to wear it with you know my hair styled makeup done some hoops and maybe like some denim shorts or something for a really comfy night out so there's that and then i also got this t-shirt and i mostly got this because i have a bag that i got from target that i really want to wear and I thought it'd be cute to wear it with this. It's literally just a really sheer men's tee. And it's distressed. It has like paint on the back. And it has holes. It has a hole right here. And then it has a big slit right here too. This one was 52 bucks. I mean, again, it's like vintage. So it's a little more expensive for a t-shirt. But um, let me show you the bag I want to style with it. It's this one here. This cute bag is from Target. It's like an orange, reddish, and it matches with this. So again, maybe with denim shorts, hoop earrings, makeup done, and some heels, or even sneakers or something like that. But yeah, I've been looking for something to kind of go hand in hand with the bag. It's a little more matchy matchy than I typically like, but it's fine. And then Urban Outfitters, I got this hat. Not sure how I'm gonna wear it yet, but I thought this was cute. I like the color. Just says cowboy, which is irrelevant, because I would be a cowgirl, but I just like the hat itself. 
and I need to tighten it. But yeah, it looks big on me. But once I tighten it, I feel like it might be cute again with some hoops like this and then a t-shirt or something. So I'm back. And I, I also got something from the men's section. Oh, first off, these earrings. I thought were really pretty it has like a lot of different types these i fell in love with the long ones and to layer them with maybe this one or this one and maybe like a hoop i have three three ear piercings on each one but i never wear earrings like this because i never can find any that i like and i came across these so i got those for 20 bucks for all of these and the, the men's top that I got this one was expensive too but it's Dickies so it's expected and um, it's this cardigan that I'm planning on wearing as a shirt well shirt slash cardigan again with maybe some denim shorts or some jeans or something like that with gold hoops <laughs> and my hair done also looks a little more vintage and fun it's striped color I'm just really into adding different things to my wardrobe lately so i thought this was nice it's not super super warm feeling but perfect for the spring because and the colors too but in the spring it's like some days are hot some days are not so i thought this would be nice to kind of style it's an immense small and the last thing i got are these really baggy jumper looking pants or they, they kind of like hammer pants and they're these black ones they're, they're like balloon pants they're super baggy at the bottom and these i thought would be comfy because tomorrow i'm going to a museum and i'm planning on wearing i might wear these with a the black skims top and i could wear this hat with it or i could check to see what other hats i have because i want to wear these sneakers maybe i don't know i still gotta find something to wear with these i just bought these two from adidas i got these from stock stock X, right and um yeah again trying to add pops of color and more sneakers to my collection too so i could wear i don't know if i like this together probably not but those i can wear with something else and then this i can wear with a black tank i could wear with this hat hoop earrings cute bag and maybe some oh i could maybe wear these because i haven't worn these out i don't think i got these from nicole and no i think that's her instagram they were like the last size, so I don't think she has them in her shop anymore. But I thought these were nice. I might wear them. I can do all black. And then wear this hat or another hat. I'll see. But yeah, that is that. And uh, last but not least, I got a drawer for my desk. It's this one to set my laptop on top of here and it has these little curves right here to put pens and then it has two drawers so I can put pens, a notepad or whatever and then I put my keyboard and my mouse underneath. I'm gonna tidy up because my place is kind of a wreck. I'll tidy up, chill for a second and then we will open up this rug and see Bye. Bye. Bye.
it's a few days later and I'm about to make ceviche ceviche de camarón shrimp ceviche and I promised you guys this recipe a very long time ago and I haven't made it in a very long time so now that I'm making it I'm gonna show you I just came back from the grocery store and I got all of my things I got the shrimp um, and I got all the things I need to get before I even show the recipe just like any other recipe you do not have to make it this way if you do not normally add clamato or if you normally don't add cucumber whatever whatever it is that's fine you can do it your way but I'm just showing you the way that I I am making it okay okay I am going to do these on tostadas and I'm gonna make the tostadas here at home um, just fry them in oil so I got the tortillas for that I got clamato cilantro I have cilantro already but it's not enough and one thing about me I'm putting a lot of cilantro and then I also have a cucumber a jalapeno about you can do like eight to ten limes and I have three tomatoes the shrimps in the fridge and then I'm also going to do avocado I might add a little bit of garlic salt just for a little extra tanginess last but not least onion and then this is also just like the clamato it's like optional the Worcestershire sauce some people add it some people don't some people add it some people don't do do what you please the clamato obviously is going to give it more of a cocktail de camarón like a shrimp cocktail taste again it's it's totally up to you
everything is pretty much chopped up except for the avocado i'll do that once the shrimp is actually ready so i have the cilantro i did a little bit more onion tomato cucumber jalapeno and then i'll do the clamato and this once i take it out of the fridge so i'm going to leave the shrimp in there to cook in the lime for about an hour and then i'll take it out and put all of this in there Then he, he said to me, you're my 